I walked like Caesar yesterday. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, it's like, especially since I, I, I onboarded my belief. I mean, that, that free will is an illusion. That wasn't a, a, a decision. That was a, just a bang. Because we don't decide what we believe. We just believe what we believe. And I have been convincing myself for years now that free will is an illusion. I even added it to the book, the principle called The Pirate Ride. And uh, suddenly, about a month, uh, or some more ago, I just suddenly switched over and I no longer believe in free will. And ob objectively, to my core, it's gone. And I, what a change. I, you know, they talk, the religious talk about being born again, right? When you, when, you, when you onboard the belief, when you become one of the faithful. And that's exactly what's happened to me. Uh, I've onboarded at my core. The idea that free will is an illusion. And now I walk like Caesar through the day. I've gone on and I talk about this almost every friggin' day now, so I won't belabor the point, but it's just so astonishing um, the positive impact that it's had on my day. And I just have to add the caveat that it hasn't made me apathetic. It hasn't made me give up the day. It doesn't make me want to just sit in this chair all day long and, and just let the day pass or to dis distance myself from my sense of responsibility for my actions or what I do. It hasn't done any of that. It's, in fact, it's hardened it the other way. A little bit like that poem. What did that line say at the end? You know, he, and he's awake who thinks himself asleep. <laughs> I'm going to add that. Do I have anything for the pirate ride? That, that, what friggin' timing that is. I'm going to add that here. Let me just take a quick look. Yeah, no, there's just this one little thing in the course of the stream. I'll move that around. I'm going to add that to the to the book. Excuse me, we're going to make another book. A quote. Uh, add Keats line to the pirate ride and he's asleep and he's asleep who wait no he's awake <laughs> awake who thinks himself asleep that's exactly what it's like i'm empowered by realizing that I'm not in control. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm a motive engine. I am a biological entity. And I have this seeming sense of directing my life, but that is just seeming. Anyway, I, I could talk about this all day long. It's become a central tenet of the good life for me. But I can't, I'll just, just linger for just a little bit more about this walking like Caesar. I have sensed since this has happened, and it becomes more so each and every day, that my walking is erect and upright. My posture has improved. Part of the reason is that I no longer sit. That's probably part of the reason. I'm standing at my desk all day long now. I, I've given up the chair. It's been about more than a month now. And, and um, I walk like a Caesar, like I said, you know, top, tall and proud. And uh, But it's not a... But it's not a um, um, <clears throat> a pride of vanity, or a, uh, or a, or a you know a negative type of a pride. It's a, a pride of of sweet comfort and confidence. The way that the visual picture I have is, I picture myself on an inner tube on a on a pretty wide stream, a river coursing through a valley, a steep valley with twists and turns and never can see what's around the next corner and rapids and maybe here and there a, a treacherous little falls at one part of the stream. If you're lucky, you can avoid that, but the course of the stream will take you. The current will whip us around. But um, what's key is that my hands are tied. I can't paddle. I just drift with the stream. That's what it feels like to go through life like this. I can come up with, with metaphor after metaphor example and uh, simile. Yeah. to describe this. I don't know if simile is the right word. It just comes to mind, but I didn't have a choice in that. <laughs> but you get the point.